decided that I needed to leave the modern town and visit a local village so I could verify that headhunting really was a thing of the past. All villages have at least one morong, or longhouse, where the young warriors slept until married. Symbols of heads are popular. Each village has a king who still governs. This is his throne room. And it seems that skulls are still in high fashion. These weren't exactly the skulls I was looking for. Now we're talking. The king assured me that these are all pre-World War II skulls, and that his people are now good Christians. Thinking about the Christian Crusades made me wonder about that statement. So 65 years after World War II, Nagaland is civilized after all. And here stands the proof of change.